Welcome to Short on Time. Today, we're talking about Jeje Le Kouk, or is it Jeger Le Kouk? Let's get this out of the way right up top. Pronunciation can change depending on where you're from. I've heard people much smarter than me say it both ways. So for ease and efficiency, we'll refer to the brand as JLC in this video. The Le Couture part of the brand began in 1833 when Antoine Le Couture opened up a watch factory in Le Sentier, Switzerland. In 1925, Antoine's grandson David merged his company with Edmund Jaeger, who supplied watch movements to Cartier. From then on, the brand operated under the name we know today. GLC is known as the watchmaker of watchmakers. That's because for a long time, they were the leading supplier of movements and parts for the Swiss watch industry. It's believed that JLC has produced more than 1,000 different movements. These include the millionimeter, the first instrument capable of measuring components to the nearest micron, the world's flattest pocket watch movement of its day, measuring only 1.38 millimeters thick, in addition to plenty of chronographs, minute repeaters, etc. For more, check out the Reverso Quadratique. It's a small watch with, count them, 11 complications. Throughout their history, JLC has produced movements for brands such as Audemars Piguet, Vacheron Constantin, IWC Breguet, and Patek Philippe. As you shop around, you may notice some dials bearing the name Le Culture by itself. As a result of rising American tariffs from the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act around the 1930s and 40s, JLC, like other Swiss watch brands at the time, created an American offshoot called Le Culture to sell watches in the States more easily. The luxury conglomerate Richemont has owned JLC since the year 2000. Richemont also owns Vacheron, IWC, Lange, and Panerai, among other watch brands. Certainly the most famous JLC timepiece is the Reverso, which debuted in 1931. The Reverso features a special case design that allows you to flip the dial over and snap it shut. Legend has it that the Reverso was originally designed for India-based British officers so that they could protect their watches while playing polo. Nowadays, many people use the blank space on the reverse side for personal engravings, or you can find reversos with an additional dial to track a second time zone, for instance. For sport watches, the main models are the Memovats for vintage and the Polaris for modern watches, although there is some overlap between those two model families. You'll also see plenty of thin dress watches from the Master series when you're searching around. These range from simple time onlys to moon phases to chronographs and even a perpetual calendar. Finally, the Atmos clock is a need to know. This marvel of engineering debuted in 1928 and never needs winding. Instead, the clock winds itself using small changes in air temperature. Time for final thoughts. Although they are often overlooked in their price category, JLC offers a rich pedigree and some of the best value for the money. They're one of the few Swiss companies still producing their own movements, cases, dials, hands, and bracelets, and not to mention, the watches are quite attractive too.